everyone. This is Lucy Gray. I'm the person behind badging and some of the social media activity that you see going on at the Q2016 National Conference. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how you can participate in our digital badging program. The first thing you're going to do is go to badgelist.com and you're going to create a free account. The next thing you're going to do is join our group, which you see here, and the address for that is badgelist.com slash Q16. You'll see that we have five badges that were designed by Danny Silva that you can earn. And um, all you need to do is follow directions, and and usually there's one or there's two between two and three pieces of evidence that you need to post per badge. So for instance, if I click on the one that says Q16 paparazzo, you're going to see the evidence right here. You need to post three pictures to social media using the hashtag Q16. And you can use any kind of social media you want. You could use um, Instagram, you can use Twitter, anywhere that you've posted a picture, you can put the link in here and submit it. And then I will review it and award the badge for you. Um, so here are the directions right here. Uh, you can see the people who've earned the badge already. I'm an administrator of this, so you can see that um, there are three people who've requested feedback that I need to get, get back to. So these are people who are in the process of learning, uh, of learning and earning badges. And as soon as they submit their evidence and I approve it, their names will pop up here. So that's kind of what it looks like inside each of these badge, inside of each of these badge groups. Um, so you can learn, earn one for attending, for taking pictures, for being a social person at the conference, for speaking, and for tweeting. If you earn three out of five of these, you can earn this very special Golden Media Mastery Badge uh, that will be given out um, on March 17th and 18th from 1.30 to 2 p.m. in the Mesquite Hallway at the Q Professional Learning Booth. So this is um, something that you need to pay attention to in terms of being in the right place in the right time to get these. So you have to earn three out of five badges through uh, badgelist.com, which is right here. And then you'll be eligible to get a real sticker um, as I just indicated. So that's badge list. And I just want to make sure you, you knew a little bit about that. Um, you can also look at your um, at your account and, and your progress in your badges. Um, this is what my profile looks like, which is uh, a little bit different than probably what yours will look like. But these are the different badges that I've theoretically um, earned and that sort of thing. And you can export these to other um, social media, to Twitter or to Facebook. Uh, you can also have them attached to your LinkedIn profile. Okay. So if you go to your, um, if your profile over here, you're going to go to your badge, your badge profile, click on the badge that you want to share, and then you'll see a link that says share this badge and you can share your achievement in a variety of different places. So I hope that you'll check out badgelist.com and see how micro credentials might uh, work in your classroom. And I also want to share with you one more thing too. And that is Participate Learning, which is a great site for curating resources. I'm going to sign in here and hopefully um, I'll be logged right in. There is a feature within Participate Learning, which is uh, participate.com, that I think is pretty awesome and you may want to try out while you're at the conference. So I am now logged in and I have curated lots of lists and collections inside Participate before. Um, but the thing that I think you'll find intriguing besides that is their participate chats. And this is an interface basically for monitoring Twitter chats and the people at participate learning have created a, uh, a, a, a special window for us at Q. So I'm going to go down and find the Q 16, um, hashtag. And what's going to pop up is an interface where I can monitor all my tweets and curate resources from them from that hashtag right into participate learning. 
So what you're looking at right now, and uh, let's see if I can move this over a little bit so you can see it better. You can see that there's 69 people who have been participating in conversations using the hashtag, hashtag Q16, and several of those people with green dots are also happen to be um, current members of Participate Learning. And then you're going to see resources that have been mentioned by people. So um, lots and lots of things here. Like here's one that somebody suggested on apps and sites for story storytelling. And I can save that to a collection if I want to. Or I can, um, I can save it to my existing collections or I can create a new collection. And I can also um, grab everything between a particular window of time up to two hours. Um, or maybe it's four hours, I'm not sure. It's either two or four hours and on any day um, in the past too. So I can grab all these resources and throw them into a collection if I want to save them for future reference. The other thing that's really helpful about this, and this is great for people who are not at Q2 who want to get, you know, grab as many resources that are mentioned as possible, you can create a transcript of a Twitter chat or a, in this case, uh, the feed from a conference and um, and and, ha and and save that transcript and share it with people and post it to social media and that sort of thing. So I think this is like a really unique tool. I have not seen this uh, anywhere in a long time, anything like this in a long time, and you may want to check it out. Um, you can also participate right in the Twitter chat. Like if I, um, let's see if this is what direction I'm going in. So the last tweet was Mary Jo Matta from Ed Surge right here at 10.28. Uh, and she's, um, she tweets something about Mike here and I can, I can like that tweet. I can retweet it. I can do whatever I want to do, uh, right from this interface instead of going to twitter.com. Very, very, very handy. And I can also say, I can also tweet in here. And I don't have to add a hashtag. It does it for me. And I submit, and boom, that's out on Twitter right now. People are going to wonder why I am tweeting something as banal as that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this because I think it's a pretty cool tool. Um, don't forget that we have badging available if you want to play around with that. Um, don't forget that we have um, uh, a hashtag set up in Participate Learning. And uh, we also have other social media things going on throughout the conference. So stay tuned to Twitter and we'll post um, some of those out over the course of the next couple of days. Hope this was helpful, helpful to you. And if you have any questions, you can find me on Twitter at, uh, I'll show you where I am. I'm Ella Menos, E-L-E-M-E-N-O-U-S. You can follow me or just, you know, tweet at me if you have any questions or anything like that during the next couple days. Have a great conference. I'll be watching from afar and enjoying the streaming sessions. And um, I'm here to help if you need anything. Thanks a lot.